In the heart of the dense rainforest, there lived a wise and caring monkey named Moro. Moro had a sleek, dark coat that shimmered under the sunlight filtering through the canopy, and eyes that spoke of wisdom and tenderness. He was a devoted father to three playful young monkeys, Tico, Miri, and Lala. Each morning, as the forest awoke, Moro would watch his children with a mix of pride and worry. Tico, the oldest, was adventurous and bold, always testing the limits of what he could climb or jump. Miri, the middle child, was curious and clever, often found examining insects or mimicking the songs of birds. Lala, the youngest, was gentle and affectionate, staying close to Moro and seeking his reassurance as she explored the world. One bright morning, as the sun cast dappled light through the leaves, Moro decided it was time to teach his children an important lesson about survival in the jungle. He gathered them close, their little faces looking up at him with trust and excitement. Children, Moro began, his voice steady and warm. Today, we will learn about the ways of the forest. It's a beautiful place, but we must be wise and careful. Tico bounced with excitement, eager to start. Miri nodded thoughtfully, and Lala clung to Moro's arm, wide-eyed but curious. They set off together, Moro leading them through the thick foliage, pointing out the different plants and animals, explaining which were safe and which were dangerous. As they ventured deeper, Moro's heart swelled with a mix of emotions. He felt immense pride watching Tico's boldness, Miri's quick wit, and Lala's tender caution. Yet, beneath his pride, there was a constant undercurrent of worry. The jungle was unpredictable, and dangers lurked where one least expected them. Suddenly, a distant rustling caught Moro's keen ears. His heart skipped a beat. He knew that sound, it was the movement of a predator. He turned to his children, his face calm but urgent. Stay close to me, he whispered, guiding them to a nearby tree with thick, sheltering branches. They climbed swiftly, Moro ensuring they were safe and hidden. From their perch, they watched as a leopard prowled below, its golden eyes scanning the forest floor. Moro held his breath, his muscles tense. He felt Tico's hand grip his tightly, saw Miri's eyes widen with realization, and felt Lila bury her face into his fur, trembling. After what felt like an eternity, the leopard moved on, disappearing into the underbrush. Moro let out a slow breath, his heart gradually calming. He looked at his children, their eyes filled with a new understanding of the world they lived in. That, my dear ones, is why we must always be cautious, Moro said gently, stroking Lala's head and giving Tico and Miri reassuring nods. The forest is our home, but we must respect its dangers. As they made their way back to their treetop nest, Moro felt a deep sense of gratitude. He was thankful for the bond he shared with his children for their health and 